All right. So this question says a neutron lives um, for some number of seconds when it rests relative to an observer. Okay, so this is describing what's called a proper time, which I will most commonly indicate using the letter tau, Greek letter tau. Um, sometimes I think a textbook might use T sub P, but uh, I'm going to use tau because that's the one I'm most uh, accustomed to using. So, okay, I'm given proper time for some process. It asks, how fast is the neutron moving relative to an observer who measures its lifespan to be uh, this amount of time? Um, so just regular time T. So what it's describing is imagine an observer who's in lab at rest. And in this reference frame, there's a neutron that's uh, moving at some speed of V. And um, the observer measures its lifespan by measuring decay of statistically significant number of neutrons <laughs> that decays. And um, the observer, Alice, measures them to live for this many seconds. So this is a time dilation question. And what the information here is really giving you is it's giving you the gamma factor. This is the Greek letter gamma. And uh, let me write down the time dilation equation using this gamma factor. It, uh, it basically relates to these two quantities, t and tau. t and tau. And the gamma factor is somewhere. It's either here or it's here. <laughs> and the phrase that I remember to remember where this gamma factor is, is uh, for time dilation, the phrase to remember is this. Moving clocks are slower. And you should remember that the gamma factor is always greater than 1. So if uh, moving clocks are slower, then as that moving clock ticks down a time of one second, for you, the stationary observer, wants to measure a time greater than one second so that that moving clock is slower. So thinking through that, okay, so my proper time is one. I want this to be greater than one. Ah, so my gamma factor must be here. That's how I remember it. So from the information given in the question, you can see that, oh, my gamma factor must be um, the time that the stationary observer measures divided by the proper time. Okay, so that gives me the gamma factor. And uh, that's not the question that they're asking. The question that they're asking is for the velocity. So we have a little bit of uh, additional work to do. And um, I like to work in terms of these uh, symbols when I'm dealing with uh, gamma factor and the velocities, which is, and actually you can kind of see it here. They want the velocity in the unit of C. And there's this letter that we use when we are express expressing things that way. Velocity of an object in the unit of speed of light. Um, there's a unitless quantity beta that we'll, we will use to describe speed of some objects in the unit of speed of light. So, um, in terms of beta, gamma is gamma is actually defined this way. Um, so, so if you take beta to be defined as the speed of something in the unit of speed of light c, then gamma is defined as one over square root of one minus beta squared. And let me give you one other expression that's not as commonly used, but I found this to be really useful in all my years dealing with and teaching special relativity, which is you can solve this expression for beta. And when you finish that algebra, it turns out to be beta is uh, equal to, <laughs> not define this, square root of 1 minus 1 over gamma squared. I have this solution memorized because I've done it so many times, it's been so useful that I have it memorized. So I'm just going to use these expressions. Well, I think I've written them on the wrong spot. Let me just move this over. Okay, I've moved everything over. And so let me just calculate the numbers. So I've pointed out uh, that uh, information given in the question text basically gives us a way to calculate gamma that's going to be 
So let me say gamma is the ratio of those two times, 271 seconds divided by 900 seconds. And, um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's not printing out gamma, but there it is. So since they are asking for beta, basically, let me calculate beta this way. So it's a square root of 1 minus 1 divided by gamma squared. So 0 0.901. And let's make sure that that's correct. Uh, mainly I'm making sure I remember the uh, formula for gamma, sorry, formula for beta in terms of gamma correctly. It has been a while, but I do have this memorized because it is such a useful expression. And I would strongly recommend that you remember both the formulas and remember that whenever a question either gives gamma or asks for uh, gamma or gives beta or asks for beta, all those things end up being the one and the same thing because whenever you have gamma, you have beta and vice versa. So, okay, so good. That's one question. Let me do the other question. So this question is very similar to the question we've just done. So let me just move it and make sure that um, I can point out uh, what it is in the previous question that I'm going to use to answer this question super quickly. So we've done a time dilation question before where we've used the information that was given to figure out gamma. And it looks like here, a clock in a spaceship runs a 120th the rate at which an identical clock on Earth runs. So it feels to me like it's already given us um, information about gamma already. I guess the, um, the thing to be careful about is to understand what it means about 120th the rate. I think that means in the amount of time, let's say the identical clock on Earth runs, uh, let's say ticks down 20 seconds. So this is the time uh, in the reference frame of Earth. The proper time for the clock on the spaceship goes one second. So this would be tau. So thinking back to here, that means the number that they've given, 1 over 20th, that's 1 over gamma. Or solving it out, uh, gamma is equal to 20. If that's what gamma is, I think I have a guess for what V will be. In the unit of speed of light C, uh, I'm pretty sure if I put in 1, it'll grade it as correct. All right. Sorry, I was overconfident. So the actual number will be really close to one. So let's work it out. Let's see um, what that actually is. So I'm going to use the same formula. Beta is equal to square root of one minus one over gamma squared. And I'll put in gamma is equal to 20. So gamma is equal to 20 now. And let's see what beta is. 0 0.9987. So one should have been graded as correct. Let me check what how it's uh, how it's programmed in uh, before moving on. 0 0.9987. That should now be correct. So um, yeah. So I, I think what I need to do is I need to edit this question so that I ask people to give an answer that's correct within a thousand digit. Yeah. I think one should have been graded as correct, or you know, one point zero zero, because that's correct within one percent. So, anyway, so those are the two questions about time dilation that I haven't done before, and now I've done it. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> so.